Hello everyone and welcome to Automotive History Through Diecast. My name is Joe and today we have 10 premium uh, cars we're going to look at from Mini GT, Tarmac, NO64, Time Micro, Street Warriors, um, just all over the place. So uh, we'll start out with the Mini GTs. I have these two Lambos. Um, the Lambo Aventador, the um, Roadster, so there no top. Uh, I thought this burgundy was just a beautiful color with the black accents. Next we have a Huracan in a lime green with orange accents. And again, these less of these are produced than RLCs. And these are 15 bucks and RLCs are 20, 30, 40. Uh, and then for some reason, I just like this car. If, if you know me, I'm not a Mustang guy. But I don't know if it's the name, the Dragon Snake or what. But uh, I bought the black one. And then I got the yellow one. I really like this yellow. And then I got the blue one. All same car. Three different colors. Excited to add those to my collection. And then I finally got this in. This is the um, Mustang from Street Warriors, the Ken Block, to go with the rest of the uh, Ken Block set I had. This, to me, is one of the nicest uh, Skylines I've seen. Um, I, I just love the colors. I just think it looks perfect. The hood opens on it, so we'll check that out. And then here's one from NO64 in the nice Bayside Blue. Um, just this nice royal blue, white rims. This RWB uh, 997 Porsche I thought looked amazing. And then, like I said, I really like these Sylvia, so I got me another one. I got the Coke edition. All right, let me pause you. We'll open these up and put... All right, we're back. Like I was saying, I am not much of a Mustang guy. Uh, I grew up GM, worked on GM, but I really like this casting. I know, I will admit, I am a Carroll Shelby fan. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. But these just look amazing. I think the, oh, I don't know. I don't know if the yellow one or if the blue one is my favorite. They're both really sharp looking. And of course, Dragon Snake is an awesome name for a car. Um, but the, the yellow with the white stripes just looks awesome. I love the wing in the back. A little gaudy, a little much, but uh, if you're gonna make a special edition, And then last, the traditional blue and white. Um, and like I said, for 15 bucks, these are just amazing cars. Um, if you haven't checked out Mini, T, Mini GT yet, you should. Um, I would highly recommend. Um, it's a little harder to find them. You know, obviously you can't go to Walmart and pick them up, but uh, I get all mine and whatnot. Um, there are some sellers on Facebook. And there are some sellers on eBay, but you'll probably pay a little more. So, and then next was the Sylvia. Now, the Mini GTs roll. Most of the rest of these don't. So if you're a diehard Hot Wheels fan who likes their racing and putting them on the track, you're probably not going to like these cars. But if you are someone who wants the most realistic 164 scale of a car, you can't you can't beat these. I'm sure there's some higher uh, price models, but I mean these are just amazing. And then, like I said, this is probably one of the best. See, it doesn't get kind of rolls. It doesn't. This is probably one of the best skylines I've seen. And I know it's in a golf, and a lot of people don't like golf, but uh, I really like this one. Hood opens, detailed engine. Just, I don't know, just awesome looking to me. And then next we have 
the blue one which is just a beautiful blue um, and then you know all the details there I've talked about it before the rear defroster is just amazing it's a little thing that uh, Hot Wheels could do to add a little more detail to their car and uh, I don't think it would take much but um, other companies do it and it just looks so nice Oops. And then next is the Hoonigan Mustang. Like I said, I needed that to complete my set. I had ordered it all at one time. For some reason, the Mustang took a little longer to get here. But it's here. I'm happy. Completes the set. And these are all 999. Uh, I, I got 600 and something out of 999. So there's less than a thousand of them made. After that, we got this beautiful Lambo and this wonderful um, lime green with the orange accents. Uh, just perfect combination of colors. I would have never thought to put them together, but together they are just perfect. And then here's the Aventador. And like I said, this, this red is just amazing with the black accents and the gold rims. Um, I could see if I had the money ordering one of these right from Lamborghini. Just a beautiful car. And then who doesn't like an RWB? Um, the, the stance on this thing is perfect. Nice deep wheels. Just everything on it. Lens headlamps. Absolutely perfect. You can see the cage in there. I mean, this is, to me, the difference between a toy for a kid and a collectible. Definitely glad to have this in my collection. All right, well, thanks for stopping by. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.